I'm Valentine Bouet and I am what we call in France a teacher researcher. This means that I teach for students who belong to pharmaceutical or biological courses and that I do research. My research lab called COMET belongs to the University of Caen, Normandy. My own research consists of tuning and assessing new animal models of psychiatric diseases such as schizophrenia to find a more appropriate way to treat them. With the Block Kiddie Science, we propose that children aged anywhere between 7 to 15 years read a short scientific article every Wednesday. This is a quite free, easy activity for them and it becomes a kind of routine every week. We try to stay close to scientific actuality, for example, space research, Nobel prizes, newly discovered species, as well as write fun experiments they can do at home, such as making a rainbow. I believe that discussing animal research with children must be done in the same way as for the general public. Children are totally able to appreciate why the use of animals is necessary to understand how a mammalian brain functions, for instance, and why animals are so important for finding new therapies for human and for animal diseases. The only difference is that the ideas and the vocabulary have to be very clear, concise and simple. I also like to explain to the children that researchers have the responsibility to avoid any suffering for animals and that they must use medicines against pain if it needed. Children are becoming more and more connected to the online world, and most of them have a computer at home. With the Block Kiddie Science, if there is something they don't understand or if they want to find out more, they can leave a comment or a question to which we always try to respond. Children enjoy Kiddie Science, and the best feedback we have is to see that more than 50,000 visitors go every month on the blog. Try to go back to your own childhood consciousness. This will help you to use words that are understandable for them. Then try to explain only a few ideas in a very simple and logical way. Children like clear ideas that can be deducted one from the other. Then show them how and why these ideas are important for their own life. For example, finding another living things on another planet curing grandma from her memory disease, understanding how some animals can live in some particular environments, etc. I found that science communication for children is rewarding given that they mostly have no preconceived ideas but instead are discovering the things as soon as you talk about it. Moreover, I think that knowing scientific facts and scientific process is the best way to avoid fake news, to which they are more and more exposed to. <laughs>